hello guys let's start which we left from last video so let's start from here in last video we are explained about the analog computer and the difference between the analog and digital computer and the origin of analog computer and history and uses all thing you are going to in a playlist and get in the videos now here i am going to explain what i do on my experiment now my object by an analog computer that is given here and number one is to solve the simulation simultaneous equation of the two variables with the coefficient and without coefficient second to solve simultaneous equation of three variable with and without coefficient number three to solve linear first order differential equation fourth to solve differential equation of second order harmonic and lambda oscillator fifth to solve differential equation which needs need time scaling and to solve directional equation which needs amplitude scaling and to solve and next to solve equation which needs both time as well as amplitude scaling so let's see how i can complete it and what's my result so let's start so here i use the uh, operation amplifier the heart of uh, my experiment and the heart of um, analog computer Originally invented in the early 1940s, rather using the vacuum tube technology. Initially, purpose was to achieve math operation in analog electronic um, machines. Most on made on integrated circuits. Only most demanding application use the discrete component. Use variety of applications, low cost and easy uh, of mass production makes them extremely popular. So here we can get the information. Information about the operation amplifier. This is the funda primary 741 operation amplifier design. Uh, here is the eight key, uh, eight uh, um, points. Uh, first is offset now. Second is inverting. Third is non-inverting. Uh, fourth is power. Five is offset now. Six is output. Seven is plus positive uh, point and eight is not connected and Uh, you can take a breadboard and uh, put the this IC there for one of assembly for IC and um, plug uh, wires to connect at this point and connect it to a uh, other point. So here uh, the integral of assembly for or of assembly for block diagram that is so uh, completely that in voting an input and non voting input both two inputs and one output in one output uh, point. And plus VCC voltage we are applied and that is negative into ground. And now this is the present we have the four stages: input stage, intermediate stage, level shifting stage, uh, shifting uh, circuits, and output amplifier. These are the block diagram and this is three types of uh, working. That is our differential amplifier, voltage amplifier, and output amplifier. So let next. Why are they used for? Sensor signals are often too weak and too noisy. The amplifier ideally increases the signal amplitude without affecting its other properties. So the, here, this is the benefit. Now, negative feedback leads to stable equilibrium. So here we are, and the amplifier gives the negative feedback, and voltage follower that is direct feedback, and there is our main processor that is transducer to the signal processor that is amplifier plus AD, AD analog to digital. And then to decoder. Now, basic element operation amplifier. You can get taken the idea of amplifier characteristics: infinite open loop gain, and that is in output upon the input, and this all in zero noise, zero output impedance, and infinite output voltage range, zero input offset voltage, infinite common mode rejection ratio, infinite power supply rejection ratio, infinite flow rate. Uh, these are the characteristics of operation amplifier. Now these ideas can be summarized by the two golden rules. That is, in a closed loop, the output attempts to do whatever is necessary to make the voltage difference between the input draws no current. Inverting and non-inverting terminal of an operation amplifier are virtually grounded. Thus, it requires dual power supply. So let this is a different types of operation amplifier. That is, operation amplifier configuration. Here is you can say the voltage comparator, and this is non-inverting uh, amplifier. This is inverting amplifier. This is voltage flower. This is a, oh, oh, this is a inverting summing amplifier. This is a differential amplifier. This is a differential ampli 
uh, differentiator amplifier this is ventilator amplifier now let one by one that is voltage comparator there is two input one output and a half point plus this is the, this is the source of voltage this is negative v minus two volt two mm, sources now v output is will be v plus or v minus v plus we have the positive source with plus v plus when v get v1 greater than v2 and v minus when v1 less than v2 that is applied the terminal on you know, Uh, 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 voltage computer now this form now non inverting amplifier this is a hmm, this r1 r2 this is circuit and the output is equal to v input into 1 plus r2 and r1 now integrated output the output integrating uh, ampli in integrating amplifier the v output is equal to minus v input into r2 and r1 now voltage flow Over V output is equal to V input in voltage summing amplifier. That is V output is equal to minus R F. V on a panel one plus dot dot V and plus R F. You can see and this simply using the Kirchhoff's law, and you can get and now differential amplifier same things and all the. How are operational amplifiers used? Comparator, voltage flower. Hmm. Signal modulation and mathematical operation filters voltage current signal. Uh, conversion these all now simple programming analog com analog computer the operation amplifier in a mathematical form when you using the analog com com analog computer in a mathematical operation then how we can program it so these are the procedure now the output of integrator is always one order lower than the input conversely the output of integrator is always one order higher than the output This fact is key to the setting of differential equation of analog computer. R. We start with the highest order derivative, integrate the highest order derivative to obtain the next lower order derivative. Repeat the process to obtain all derivatives of desired order. Multiply each term by the desired constant as given equation. Add the terms as given by the equation. Satisfy the equation of closing loop with the proper terms. this is this complete program and now you can get the answer now procedure of developing is called an anacom diagram this which i do and these are the program write the differential equation to be solved in normal form estimate maximum value is of variable determine all values draw integrator needed put a plot for between plot between each pair of integrators and then Uh, k equal to l output upon l input into one upon gain into one upon n. Fill in feedback path setting for by and uh, this all thing you can see it here. Now uh, my analog computer is working as and this is the math result. Now to observe the math operation by now come to solve this simulation equation of two variables with the coefficient and without coefficient. Without coefficient, I taken the equation x plus y is equal to four and x minus y is equal to two. On solving, we get that x equal to three and y is equal to one. Experimentally, x equal to three point zero one and y is equal to zero point eight five. This is not a uh, correctly one, but yeah, it's nearly. So uh, uh, this is my operation amplifier. One, two. I require here is the two coefficient x and y. So I require uh, here is the three operation amplifier. This is one. This is two, and this is three. So in this case, I first uh, taken as uh, x is equal to four minus y, and y is equal to uh, uh, y is equal to x minus two. So here you can see when uh, first I use x is equal to four minus y. Four minus y. I also know as operation we had invert the output. So I taken y minus four minus y, and it is equal to the minus x. Next minus x using to the next operation amplifier it will be inverted when you not applied any other uh, input then it getting the correct positive x. Now our second equation is uh, y is equal to x plus two x minus two. So x is here and uh, we applying to minus two volts and to the input uh, terminal of the operation amplifier and then it gets the addition with the inverting signal uh, sign. So x minus two with the negative sign, so it's going to be become minus y. 
and now minus y connected to the first operation three file which is minus y to uh, minus y and uh, uh, x equal to uh, y 4 minus y then here you get the minus y and we apply the 4 voltage and then it is complete uh, our circuit so we are applying uh, now we, now we can start taking the result uh, this is a complete circuit for solving these two simulation equation without coefficient so we get the first result at here the value of x which is equal to 3101 and this is and the value of here of y at here or we need to and if we interested then we add the next operation amplifier to positive y and that will equal the result 3.85 now the next two variables with coefficient in a duplicate with coefficient case that is we take uh, I take uh, these two equations 2x plus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus y is equal to 3 on solving we get x equal to 2 and y is equal to 1 mathematically and experimentally x equal to 1.925 and y is equal to 0 0.78 actually these are all in uh, experimental results in the voltage which I discussed in previous this is my circuit to solve this equation simply Similarly, at 2x is equal to 5 minus y and y is equal to 2x minus 3. So similarly, we can use it. First, consider as mm, here is the two coefficients. We use the near near the three operation amplifier and connect it to all and get in the result. Now, so this is the nearly satisfied equation. Now three variables to solve same condition. Now without coefficient, we take the, these three equations: x minus y plus z is equal to two minus x minus y plus z is equal to minus one. X plus y plus z is equal to three. And now and then mathematically we can now get the answer is equal to x plus x equal to y is equal to z is equal to one. And when you use the uh, analog computer, we use the five uh, uh, operation amplifier and this is the design the analog circuit and we get the result x is equal to 1.010 which is accurate nearly 1 to 2 percent um, uh, uh, discount and y is equal to 0 0.92 and z is equal to 0 0.83 these are uh, z and y, y is much nearly but z is nearly so it is the nearly uh, confirm the um, correct answer uh, satisfy the mathematical uh, operation. Uh, now the three values with the coefficient. We take these uh, three equations: 2x plus y plus z is equal to 4, 2x minus y plus z is equal to 2, 2x minus y minus z is equal to 0. On solving, x equal to y is equal to z is equal to 1. But when you apply design these uh, circuits and applying uh, on the analog computers by other operational amplifiers, so we get the results x equal to 1.25, y is equal to 0 0.87, z is equal to 1.063, which is completely satisfy a mathematical equation. So when we not understand a very difficult, uh, complicated equ mathematical equation, and we can solve by the mathematically a uh, very simple tools like that, here is mathematical. So we can complete directly going to you describe, uh, design a circuit and get the result very fastly. So now the linear first order differential equation. I use I you know, first order differential equation. This is my reading when uh, and this is this reading and plotted on the graphs for first order and this is like that. So you can see this is a theoretical and this is experimental. You can see the characteristics is nearly equal and the uh, minimum point will also be equal so not a much difference so it will be the satisfy and you can say in, a, in this case analog computer was good but this in case in this form is difficult now also it's coming to second order harmonic oscillator this is the equation of second order harmonic oscillator this square y upon dt and this square y upon d square t plus y is equal to zero that is y is equal to when you solve it the get is the y is equal to sine t 
with the initial condition dy is equal to t is equal to 0 to uh, d is equal to 0 and d and y at t equal to 0 to equal to 1 and this is the uh, unique oscillator and this is our reading you can see on the plotting graph and this is characteristics nearly equal to going to same but some variation getting because of this um, second order because of some limitations and these are discussed next slide in the next slide and this is damped oscillation previously you said harmonic oscillator this is damped oscillation and here you can also say this is the math uh, mathematical equation d square y upon dt square dt square is equal to minus dy by dt is equal to minus, minus 4.25 y into y and the second is the dy by dt is equal to 4 and y is equal to 0 and this is design, I designed the circuit and get in the results and derive and plot it on the graph and you can see the variation, very small variation uh, between the theory experimental and math theoretical and experimental results. So it will be also be helpful and uh, satisfy the condition. Now here differential which needs the time scaling. So this is the equation d square x upon dt square plus 10 to the power 10 x is equal to 0. Uh, uh, x is equal to b and when you get the solve x equal to b is equal to 5 cos b initial condition x equal x at a 0 x at a t equal to 0 is equal to 5 and d is what it is equal to 0 so uh, when we get in the um, co coefficients of x greater than 10 times then we use the time scaling so we get created so we um, design the circuit and get the reading and plotting on the graph and you can see it you can see it experimental and math um, theoretical reading variation between scaling variation between mathematical uh, and theoretical experimental and theoretical reading you can see as uh, the variation Nearly the characteristics is nearly to same uh, till half only till here but next is going to something wrong because of this one mm, problem we can discuss in the next slide so it also when you apply to the scaling you can see this is the mathematical is going to the damped but in you going to the uh, amplitude scaling it's very bad it needs to be the very uh, mm, variations but in, i can get can't get so both time and scaling so it's given, it's given a good deal now why getting we a variation during the scaling so time and amplitude scaling circuit has much sensitive so if you add unwanted resistance the output going much diverges the error in time plot versus plot um, clock pulses very much affected your output so hmm, our um, in, in our computers uh, operator are um, you know, very old and is very uh, resistive, uh, not a much cleanliness in, uh, inside. So it's given a very uh, variation in a sensitive cases when you are going to scaling. So this is and our reference you can study the computation and simulation by V. Rajaraman book. This book uh, and V. Uh, operation amplifier. For everyone, Texas Instrument, uh, August 2002 um, PDF, uh, which you can uh, search via Google, and also you can you uh, get the pictures from Wikipedia, and also you have a uh, next reference is an introduction to information theory by John R. Percy, and images from uh, Google search engine is completely okay. Now, thank you to all of you, and have a nice day. Thank you for giving a time. And this is going to, okay, bye. Bye.